Hello and welcome to Talking Defense, Rafael's Defense Magazine. Every program will be dedicated to a different subject with all relevant experts, data and aspects here in the studio and from around the world. And today, Iron Dome is marking its 10th anniversary. And with me in the studio is retired Brigadier General Pini Jungmann, Executive Vice President and General Manager at Air and Missile Defense Systems Division at Rafael. Thank you very much, sir, for joining me. Quite an achievement, 10 years. Actually, it's exciting to celebrate uh, 10 years and uh, more than 2,500 operational interceptions and more than a few hundreds, actually, of uh, interceptions in live test. So it's really amazing. Can um, take me, Pini, 10 years and more back when it was a vision, a thought, uh, a, a desire. Actually, because of the uh, uh, performance uh, uh, requirements and because of the uh, very specific uh, uh, accuracies that you need to intercept uh, a rocket in the air, Many, as you said, were skeptical. Uh, actually, you need to think of uh, the ability to launch against, in a few seconds, to launch against a rocket, uh, short-range rockets. And take me to the first interception. The first interception was in April seventh, uh, uh, 2011. Actually, Yossi Drucker was my boss, and we were in the US. Uh, on the way, driving to one of our uh, industries in the U.S. Uh, production industry in, in uh, Orlando. And we got a phone call and, uh, you know, it was exciting, so, so happy, you know, a happiness as if you, 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 you know, you got a message that uh, you have a newborn boy. And ever since, as, you men and as you've mentioned, more than 2,500 uh, uh, successful interception, operational ones. And what's, what lies in the future? Because uh, the current Iron Dome is not similar to the original one. And now you deal with cruise missiles and UAVs, etc., etc. So it's a whole new ball game. Yeah, actually, since, uh, uh, since the first interception, operational interception in 2011, we continuously uh, upgrade the system. Uh, investing a lot in, in, with the uh, Ministry of Defense, uh, with the MOD, and with uh, uh, the IMDO, actually, in the, in the last uh, uh, almost seven, eight years, investing in upgrading the system. The system is not the same as it was 10 years ago. If uh, uh, the requirement were to intercept short-range rockets, uh, especially from Gaza Strip, uh, today, actually, the Iron Dome system only with uh, algorithm and software, without changing the hardware of the system, we succeed to uh, upgrade the, and actually I'm, I'm saying usually we, we squeezed the physics uh, like we can uh, uh, squeeze, uh, you know, a lemon. We squeezed the physics and with the software and algorithm we upgraded the system in a way that in the last uh, few months that we conducted tests, we achieved uh, the, the performance and the capabilities to intercept uh, uh, huge salvos, uh, many uh, many different of, uh, you know threats like uh, UAVs, like cruise missiles, like ABTs, and actually everything in parallel. So the system is totally different with the performance and the capabilities that it it was in in ten years ago. And and you get here uh, 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 after a very successful test that you've uh, uh, committed a couple of weeks ago. Testing what? Uh, we had few tests. Uh, maybe I will start with the greatest test uh, that I can mention, that the first time in the world, I think, we uh, conducted a test, uh, full interoperability between systems. We uh, actually launched against uh, tactical ballistic missiles, long range. Uh, we launched David Sling, okay, first, and then we launched uh, Iron Dome in parallel against the same threat when the coordination between the systems are perfectly, worked perfectly, 
And this is actually, we, we say it's, it's, it was the first time full interoperability. The arrow played also in this game as a detector, as a tracker with the radar. And actually, we operated the first time three layers operationally. So in, in parallel, we had the David Sling interceptor, the stunner in the air, flying to the target, flying to intercept the threat, the TBM. And in parallel, we launched also the Iron Dome interceptors against the same threat. It means in the air, in parallel, we had few Tamir Iron Dome interceptors, David Sling interceptors, and uh, actually the threat, the TBM as a target that uh, uh, flew to hit a ground uh, area, a not, ground defended area. Not many years ago, all of that sounded like science fiction. When foreigners come to Israel, it's no secret that the US Army bought two uh, uh, batteries of Iron Dome. When foreigners from other countries come over and look at Iron Dome and see that, what do they say? And how, how big is the desire around the world to, to get to this club of owning Iron Dome? Actually, I can, I can mention that uh, uh, it's not a secret that uh, the US Army uh, uh, with the Israeli army, with the Israeli air defense forces are deploying and exercising together uh, a few times a year. And a very big exercise like uh, Juniper Cobra or, uh, or uh, Juniper Falcon uh, once a year, once, once in two years. So they are deploying here their system. We are doing actually interoperability be between, sim uh, actually by simulation with all the systems, Iron Dome, David Sling, Patriot, THAAD and other systems like the SM3 in the Aegis. But the performance of the Iron Dome, as I mentioned, with more than 90% uh, uh, of uh, success, actually it's amazing. Uh, it's amazing and it's also amazed the foreign or in, in this case the, uh, the American Army, the US Army, uh, and actually they bought the first two batteries uh, for, they call it interim solution. Interim solution it means, okay, we will test the batteries, we will understand the performance, and uh, now we are dealing with, uh, uh, with uh, um, actually a competition that the army is running uh, between few systems that they are checking to decide what will be the enduring solution. It means what the army will actually use in the future. We believe that uh, uh, the army will not buy or use full batteries, but probably the army will take the heart of the system, it means the interceptors, and uh, integrate the interceptors and the launchers to American systems, like the C2, the IBCS, the American IBCS, and American radar, the army radar. So we are now uh, uh, com in competition, in actually under inspection of the army, uh, and we hope that they will decide that the future system uh, for the army to defend the forces that are deploying around the world will be the Iron Dome system. Pini Uban, pleasure as always. Congratulations, 10 Thank years you. to Iron Dome. That's all from us for today. We'll be back shortly with another edition of Talking Defense. Until then, stay safe and stay tuned. Bye-bye.